Coming up in just a few minutes, the House Financial Services Committee is scheduled to hold a virtual hearing on stable coins. Uh, they're calling it Digital Assets and the Future of Finance, and they'll be talking about that topic. Our Jennifer Schomberger is here with a preview of that hearing. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Julie. Treasury Undersecretary for Domestic Finance, Nellie Lang, set to testify before the House Financial Services Committee this morning on the Biden administration's recommendations for regulating stable coins. Lang set to make the case to lawmakers this morning that there are gaps in the framework for regulating stable coins when it comes to credit and liquidity risk that need to be addressed, especially if they become widely used for payments. Now, last November, the president's working group on financial markets tasked Congress with coming up with new regulations to oversee stablecoins, recommending that only banks be allowed to issue stablecoins. Since that report, Lang told me in an interview ahead of this hearing that Treasury officials have been speaking with lawmakers in, on Capitol Hill about how to best regulate stablecoins, considering questions about credit and liquidity risks of stablecoins and whether the PWG proposal is the best way to protect against risks while encouraging innovation. So far, proposals for regulating stablecoins on Capitol Hill have been limited, though Lang told me Treasury is, quote, very supportive of the general direction of new stablecoin legislation proposed by Democratic Representative Josh Gothheimer, which would limit stablecoin issuance to FDIC-insured banks and to non-banks that follow specific rules, including only investing reserves in treasuries or keeping them on deposit at banks. Lang told me uh, on this legislation, quote, I think there are important similarities, but there are specifics about what kind of assets need to back that stablecoin that could differ depending on the degree of supervision. So there are some discussion points there that would need to be had. But in general, the proposals are very aligned. It is something that we are very supportive of the general direction. So I just want to underscore that this is giving us some direction on where Congress could be going and what regulation could look like for stable coins. Now, separately, I did ask Lang about whether Treasury supports a central bank digital currency. She told me that Treasury is very supportive of a urgent study of one, though stop short of endorsing an actual CBDC. She said, that stable coins could coexist with a CBDC. And depending on how the Fed designs one, if they do indeed proceed with one, a CBDC could actually supplant stable coins. Now, it really um, will depend on what the future of the system looks like. She says it's very unclear at this point. And so there are question marks about how the two could interact. Expect that to come up in this morning's hearing. Julie? Yeah, one of the very important tracks that we're watching with everything regarding cryptocurrencies, certainly stablecoin, is one of the most important, I think, when we're watching this space. Thanks so much, Jen. Appreciate it.